On September 5th, Guatemalan President Jorge Serrano announced that his country recognized Belize as a sovereign and independent state. This was seen as a major step in resolving the age-old Anglo-Guatemalan dispute. And on September 11th, diplomatic ties were established between our two nations. Soon after, a joint communique dated September 16th and signed by Foreign Ministers Said Musa and Alvaro Arzu of Belize and Guatemala respectively, announced a decision to institute a joint commission for social, economic and cultural agreements. It also announced that Prime Minister Price would visit Guatemala and Serrano would come to Belize for the 10th anniversary of independence. But on September 19th, the Guatemalan president canceled those plans due to opposition mainly from Arzu, who formally resigned on September 22nd to protest Serrano's actions. During October, the bill received support from a wide cross-section of organizations ranging from the Commonwealth Heads of Government to the Belize City Council. The Bipartisan Commission started public consultations on October 7th and two days later met its strongest opposition in Punta Gorda. Ismael Garcia, Belize's ambassador to Central America, presented his credentials to Serrano on October 24th, and four days later, Prime Minister Price made a historic visit to Guatemala during the meeting of Central American Parliament. This was the first Belizean head of government to set foot on Guatemalan soil. The bill faced more opposition in November. Speer called for a referendum before the bill was ratified, and UDP published the amendments it thought necessary to make the bill acceptable. Problems also started for the UDP, as Philip Golson, Albert's representative, resigned as Deputy Secretary General of that party because of his opposition to the bill. Golson's opposition led on December 10th to the birth of a new organization, the Patriotic Alliance for Territorial Integrity, which one week later held its first rally in opposition to the bill. Meanwhile, the Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Bar Association announced that they fully supported the bill. The new year also brought new controversy. On January 9th, the Public Service Union announced that it opposed the bill and demanded that government respond positively to its amendments within seven days or face industrial action. The UDP, for its part, announced this week that it now opposes the bill without a referendum first, but would not campaign against it. The UDP also announced that Derek Aikman, Hubert Ellington, and BQ Pitts were expelled and in sympathy, Golson and Samuel Rayburn resigned from the party. The government on January 11th held a national peace rally at which ministers of government and heads of organizations from all over the country voiced support for the bill.